Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Monday Morning Coffee. I am at Situate Lighthouse right here in uh, Situate, Massachusetts. It's kind of a, it's a gray day. Um, it's like a passing storm or a storm coming in. Uh, the tide's coming in, so the surf is kind of impressive. But it is a gray day, although the rest of the week is forecast to be spectacular. This first day or so is going to be kind of like this. So what do you do photographically when you see something like this? So I set my camera to shoot both RAW and JPEG simultaneously. Now the RAW will come into software just like any other RAW. The JPEG will have the film simulation for Fuji's black and white film called Acros. And the cool thing about it is when you're looking through the viewfinder, you're seeing the film simulation. Now this is a great day, a great opportunity to be shooting black and white because because of the cloud cover, there's not a lot of color. So we're gonna focus more on shape and composition and position of things. Look at these clouds behind me and the tides coming in and there's supposedly gonna be maybe some storms tomorrow and then followed by a week of pure sun. Photographically, I find this absolutely gorgeous. This is just beautiful. And it really screams for black and white treatment. There's something about the pounding surf in black and white when you've got this kind of cloudscape that's just so dramatic. So I'm gonna take some shots of this and uh, I'll, I'll share them with you so you can see how beautiful this really can be on a day like this. Let's take a look at some of the color versus black and white results that we got on our shoots. It's not an either or, a lot of times it's both and in some cases the color is better. And even when you're shooting the black and white simulation, it doesn't come in perfectly, you're gonna have to do some edits. But once you do an edit to one, then you can apply it to all and that will work. So here we have uh, the, uh, the surf at uh, Situate looking out onto the jetty. And now here is the raw black and white file that came in with the Acros. And it needed fixing. It needed to have some oomph put back into it. And it was just a matter of moving some of the sliders and adding a bunch of dehaze to create the kind of black and white film look I was going for, which was this. And that looks spectacular. Now just I'm gonna bounce out of full screen here so you can see real quick. So here you can see all the sliders that I adjusted. I had a lot, a lot of presence to it, texture clarity dehaze, brought down the highlights, opened up the shadows, added some contrast. That's how I got the feeling I wanted. But once I got that, then I was able to apply it to all of them and we were done. So let's take a look at a couple more. I do love that, love the sky there. Again, just looking out onto the ocean. Is the color valid shot? Sure. But I think the mood of the black and white is better. Let's take a look at some more. Again, here's a single wave, isolated. Yeah, it's okay as a color. It's nothing that exciting. But when we convert it to black and white, in this case, it takes on a complete life of its own. That is a great conversion. One that really black and white worked a lot better on. And a series of three waves coming in. Again, the black and white. I think it's an improvement. But that's not always going to be the case. Okay, here's uh, just the Situate Harbor. That's a tough call. That's a personal preference. They both kind of work. Although I do like the black and white effect on the wood. This was uh, actually the following morning. It was very misty out. And I just wanted to get that horizon disappearing into nothing. Let's see if it looks good as a black and white. And it does. I added a lot of grain to it as well to give it that kind of feeling. And then the, actually the sun started to come out. And you can see it on the rocks on the jetty. But it's actually starting to get a little bit sunny out yet the black and white kind of hides that. However, in this case, I think maybe the, black, the color is a more interesting shot. Uh, the storm was passing, the sun was coming out. That's a personal preference call. And then lastly, we have the lighthouse with somebody looking off into the distance, and the sun is obviously out now. And strangely enough, once the sun came out, I think it was time to go back to color and here's the same shot as a color. I think it tells a better story of the place. So there you have some examples to see what you can do with black and white. You're getting them both, and that film simulation does aid in composition. It aids in when you're framing in camera because black and white makes you look at it differently. Make your edit once, apply it to all, and for those cloudy, dramatic days or when the composition just calls for it, sometimes black and white will be the answer, but sometimes the color will be the answer. So thanks for joining me at this week's Monday Morning Coffee. I've got a lot more to share with you soon as we're going to have a whole week here out in Cape Cod photographing the beach and lighthouses. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.